No. I don't give it anything. Mm, I don't. No. I don't. Yeah. Mm -mm. No te voy a dar nada. En futuro. In I in will. I will. No. I. I will. I know. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. So pay attention to the following. Um, okay. So, cuando tú quieres decir que vas a o no vas a, entonces decir no voy a, no voy a, would be something like I'm not, I am not going, I'm not going to. And then the verb, I am not going to. Voy a. I'm going to. I am going to. Okay. I'm going to. And then the verb. Okay, so remember, you need to use am, am is ER, depending on the subject. So, for example, if okay. you were talking about she, how would you say, ella no va a? She not going to mm, she you're missing something she she are no mm -mm. she is she is not she's not going to she's not going to mm -hmm. the pronouns for that pronouns yeah you have to have in mind I forget it always <laughs> <laughs> okay and how would you say something like ellos no van a they 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 is mm. no mm -mm. they es que es plural no que sí plural no tiene que cambiar ajá uh -huh. I da uh, I don't remember that pronounce <laughs> okay they are they are ah, okay Okay. Always this is a plural or or yeah. So you have okay. to have in mind that you have am, um, is, and are, right? Okay. And you are going to use am um, whenever you're using I, the pronoun I. When I use me, no. Mm -hmm. I am going. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm not okay. going to. I am going to, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And in then singular use is. Is okay. is uh huh for. He, or she, he, she, and it. It, okay. And R, you're going to use R whenever you're using... They. They. Us. You. You and us. And we. Ah, we, sorry. We. Mm -hmm. Then you and we. Then you, okay. Mm -hmm. So, how would you say, ellos no van a... They are not going to? Exactly. They are not going to. They're not going to. Okay. So in this case, you're using affirmative sentences, right? Okay. Yes, affirmativas. So mm -hmm. if you want to make questions using this, if you want to make questions, the only thing you have to do is you need to pass the auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. okay. So, for example, if you want to say, Can no um, buy it, for example? If you want to make this sentence but a question, then you would say something like this Am I not going to? Am I not? Okay. Am I not going to? So what am I doing here? I'm putting the auxiliary verb at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So aquí it goes the auxiliary, then the subject goes here. Okay. <clears throat> then not, and then going to, in that order, always. Auxiliary, is, subject, not, and then going to, and then the verb. Is it talking the class pass, no? In the... In 
direct object and the indirect we're, object. In in this case, you don't. We're not talking about direct objects or indirect ah, okay. objects. We're just talking okay. about the structure of the in, sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So, how would you say something like van ellos a? They are going. Mm, but to... making a question. Uh, in the question. They... Okay. Ah. Uh huh. Okay, Rebecca. Yes. Okay. Are so, they going to? Are they going to? All right. Exactly. Okay. Are they? Yeah. Are they going to? Teacher, I have a question. Huh? Uh, the class it uh, starts at what time? Okay. It's supposed to start at eight thirty. Oh, okay, because I think I'm late, but it's 8.30. I, no, I don't know. no, you're not late. <laughs> you're not late. Okay. We're just practicing. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. So, yeah, exactly. So, if you want to make questions, the only thing you have to do is you need to put the auxiliary verb at the beginning and then the subject and then going to. Are they going to come? When are they going to, are they going to buy something? Van a comprar ellos algo? Okay. okay. Okay, Jorge, how would you say something like, vamos a, vamos a tener uh, clases? I are. Uh -huh. Are we. Uh -huh. Have mm -hmm. the class? Mm -hmm. No. Are we going to class? Are we going? Are we going to, to and then you have. You need to put the verb. ¿Cómo decimos tener? Take, take, take a class. Are we going to take? Are we going to have? I want to. Uh -huh. Are we going to have a class? Teacher, I, I have the question. When uh -huh. you use the have and when you uh, take? Mm, okay, but it's kind of like the same. Are we going to take classes? You could also use take, indeed. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's optional. Take it's optional. Up. It's up to you. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, si dices, okay. uh, are we going to have? Estás diciendo, vamos a tener? Are we going to take? Vamos a tomar? Ah, Entonces, ok. Es lo mismo. Uh -huh. Realmente es lo mismo. Similarly. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Ok, all right. So, Rebecca, how would you say something like, no te voy a dar nada using this structure? Okay, uh, like, no, like a question, like normal. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, that uh, verbal life. Mm, but you're missing something. I'm not. I'm not going to, I'm uh, going to, yeah. I'm not going to, okay. And then the verb. Yeah. Um, I don't know what is uh, the, o sea, no me acuerdo cuál es el verbo de dar. Okay. Would be give. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to give. Okay. I'm not going to give to who? A quien no le vas a dar you. nada. Okay. Give you. I'm not going to give you. Anything? Anything exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you anything. Right? I know it's not a question. I'm not going to give you anything. Okay, yeah, exactly. So remember, this is the formal structure. The formal structure. You always have some other options which are not so formal, but they work as well. Like, for example, if you want to say something like, um, I am going to and then something this is the formal structure right but okay. sometimes you may hear something like i'm gonna uh it's a informal structure aha uh -huh. exactly okay. i'm gonna so whenever you're using i'm gonna you don't use to anymore to oh, okay so for example i'm going to give right i'm going to give or I'm going to give. I'm going to give. 
Okay. I'm going to give, so without the two. Mm -hmm. So you always have, I'm, I'm going to give, or I'm going to give. They're going, you have, they are going, they're going to, or Jorge, how would you say they are going to, but using this one right here? They are going to. They're going to, exactly. They're going to, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ellos usan la contracción, they're going to. Yeah. So, they're going to go, they're going to, they're going to buy something. Yeah. Okay, so, remember, the only difference is that you don't use two in this structure. Okay. All right. So, we can continue with the following. Okay. So, let's see. It says here, share sound. All right. So, we were doing this part yesterday. Do you remember? Yep. Okay. So, it says here, you were supposed to have these five sentences done. Hmm? Did okay. you do it, Jorge? Hey, really not. <laughs> not really. <laughs> no. Okay. So, okay, that's fine. We are going to listen the audio, and it says here, listen and complete the sentences with the missing words. Then ask a partner the questions. Okay, so okay. we are going to do that now. I'm going to play the audio, and you need to complete the sentences based on what you heard. Okay. All right. Okay, Rebecca, is that clear? Yes. All right, so here we go. Page 35, three, speaking naturally, going to, B, listen and complete the sentences with the missing words. Then ask a partner the questions. Take notes, right? Okay. One, are you gonna send anyone flowers this year? Two, are you going to buy any expensive gifts this year? Okay. Three, are you going to buy any cards this month? Four, are you going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Five, who are you going to spend your next birthday with? Okay, do you need to listen in again? Uh, no. Just the... Uh... No, if, 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 or, or yes, because I, in the third one, I don't know if I listen very well. Okay, so. okay so we're going to hear it again. Page 35 and 2. B. Listen and complete this. Then ask a partner the questions. 1. Are you going to send anyone flowers this year? 2. Are you going to buy any expensive gifts this year? 3. Are you going to buy any cards this month? Four. Are you going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Five. Who are you going to spend your next birthday with? Okay. All right. So we are going to do the following. Uh, Rebecca, you are going to read number one to three. And you, Jorge, you need to give an answer, okay? And then, Jorge, you will ask for, from four to five. And then, Rebecca, you will have to give an answer, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So, okay, Rebecca, so you go first. The number one is just right there. Uh, are you going to send any flowers this year? Yeah, i going to... To send the uh, flowers this year. Okay, I'm gonna send 
you would say. I'm gonna sing, yeah. I'm gonna send. Sorry. Okay, Jorge, in the first one, did you hear, are you going to send in the audio or did you hear, are you gonna send? Are you gonna send? Are you gonna send? And what about you, Rebecca? Did you hear, are you going to send or are you gonna send? Are you gonna send? Are you gonna send? So they use the informal structure in that one. Yeah, because okay. I can hear in two. Going to, exactly. You didn't hear two. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Rebecca, before you go, in number two, did you hear, are you going to, or did you hear, are you gonna? Gonna. Are you gonna? Okay, so try to ask the question using gonna, all right? Yes. Are you gonna buy any expensive gifts? I know, or he, he's quite, no. Uh -huh. I don't uh -huh. understand. Uh -huh. you, you need to ask the question using gonna. Uh, okay, okay. Are you gonna gonna buy any expensive gift this year? Yeah, I gonna any expensive gift this year. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy. I gonna buy. Yeah, I'm gonna buy. So don't 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 lose the verb. You need to include the verb. I'm gonna and then the verb. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna work. Yeah, I'm, it's a verb. <laughs> mm -hmm. So after the gonna, después del gonna, you need to put the yeah. verb, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And um, Rebecca, in number three, did you hear, are you going to or are you gonna? Are you going to? Are you going to, exactly. All right, so yeah. ask the question using going to, please, Rebecca. Okay, are you going to buy any cards this month? Yeah, I'm going to buy a uh, card. Mm, this month okay all right exactly so jorge okay so now you have the verb but oh, remember you don't use i gonna you need to say i'm i'm gonna or yeah, i am okay. gonna okay all right okay Thank you. yeah you're welcome so jorge it's your turn in number four jorge did you hear are you gonna or are you going to i I listen the uh, going to. Exactly. All right. So please ask the question using going to. Are you going? I can hear you the verb. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's listen again. Page 30. One. Are you going to. Are you going to buy any cards this month? Okay. So it, here it goes. Four. Are you going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Okay. Okay, is a celebrate. Uh -huh. Are okay. you going to celebrate any anyone's birthday this month? Okay. Yes, I'm gonna celebrate uh, my father's birthday this month. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and. Jorge, in number five, did you hear, are you gonna or are you going to? I remember I uh, hear um, going to. Going to. Okay, so let's listen again. Okay. Five. Who are you going to spend your next birthday with? Okay. Uh, it's the gonna. <laughs> gonna. Okay. Okay, so how would you say the question? Who are you gonna? Who are you gonna? Okay, and the verb? And the verb, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. So, so listen. Who are you gonna spend your next birthday with? Explain your yeah. next birthday with. Okay, so let's let's ask that question again from the beginning. Okay. Uh -huh. Who are who are you gonna? Expand your next birthday with. Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend my birthday with my friends. I, I think so. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Peter, uh, what is this expand? Spend is this verb right here. Uh, spend. Spend means when you're talking about money, it means ah, a okay. 
Okay, okay. All spend, right, okay. spend money. But when you are talking about time, it means pasar. Mm -hmm. Pasar el tiempo. For example, I'm going to spend the night here. Ah, okay. Spend the night here would mean something like pasar la noche aquí. Spend the night here. Or spend time with my friends. Pasar tiempo. Spend. I can, I can use when there's uh, talking the money on I uh -huh. talked in the, uh, the one uh, place, for example, they, they spend the night here or they spend the, the evening uh, place, for example. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay. Right. You would say spend when you want to say pasar, pasar la noche, pasar tiempo con mis amigos. Okay. Thank pasar you. Pasar el fin de semana. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, so uh, if you want to respond to questions formulated with going to, you need to say something like this. For example, are you going to send anyone flowers this year? And you just want to say no? Nada más quieren decir no? No quieren decir nada más? You would say something like, like this. No, I'm not. No. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. No. Remember, you never say just no in English. You must always say no, I am not. No, I'm not. Okay. No, no, boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So if es you want to affirmar, no? Yeah, uh -huh. it's like saying no. If you want to say no, you say just no, I'm not. And if you want to say yes, just yes, you would say yes, yes I am. I'm yes. Okay. Yes, I am. Right? Okay. Okay. All right, so have that in mind because it's important when you want to say no or yes. So, okay, so let's move to the following. Okay, but that's it with lesson A. So we are going to start with lesson B and it says here, special days. Okay, so I have a question for you, for you both. Uh, Rebecca, what do you do in special days like birthday, Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve? What do you do in those? those times mm, i'm celebrate um mostly with my family or it depends like i i like to celebrate um uh event uh with my friends yeah if it's valentine's day but if it's uh, new year's or christmas i like uh spend more with my family Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. And Jorge, what about you? What are you doing those special dates? Yeah, it's the same. I'm, I'm just like the celebrate with my family. Um, I like to spend uh, time with my family all the time. And in New Year and Valentine's Day on my birthday, for example. Okay. And, Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So it says here, find two expressions from the box for each event. Okay. So what else do people do on ideas? Okay. So you need to have a look at these special events, special dates. And what you have to do is write down, down the picture, one of those phrases. So, for example, in New Year's Eve, what do you do in New Year's Eve? Well, we should Happy New Year. That's what we do, right? So you need to put these sentences below the images. Okay, is that clear? Yes. Okay, so yeah, let's, have, let's have, let's say, three minutes to do this. If you don't understand some words from the box, you can tell me. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Firework usa pirotecnia? Ajá. Ok. Blowout es cuando soplas. Uh -huh. Blowout, yep. Ok. I don't. <laughs> ok, all right. So, um, Jorge, what do you have in Valentine's Day? Uh, maybe go out uh, for romantic dinner or... Okay. Uh, give someone chocolates. All right. Okay. It makes sense. Get someone chocolates and go out for a romantic dinner. Okay. All right. Exactly, Jorge. Right. Perfect. Okay. Thank and you. Rebecca, what do you have in birthday? Uh, sing happy birthday and blow out candles on a cake. Exactly. Okay. All right. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And Jorge, what do you have in graduation day? Uh, get a degree or, or diploma. Okay, all right. Do you have something else? Uh, maybe um, go to the city of fireworks. Go to see the fireworks mm, in a graduation day. Would you see fireworks? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Maybe that's like too much, right? In a graduation day. Okay, it might work. Okay, but not exactly. Just It's just uh, get a degree or diploma. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Thank you. And Rebecca, what do you have in Halloween? We go trick or treat. Okay, and what does that mean? Uh, dulce truco. <laughs> okay. Like to um, um, tocar. I, I, I don't have the, the verb. This. What is the verb tocar? Like it la depends. puerta. Okay, knock the door. Knock the door, yeah. We knock the door to go to trick or treat or... Um, Ah, wear a costume. Sorry. Okay, wear a costume. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rebecca. Exactly. And finally, Jorge, in wedding day, what are you doing wedding day? Run and <laughs> run. <laughs> That's a felony. Uh... You know? <laughs> that was a felony. If you have a reception. Have a reception. Okay, exactly. What does the reception mean? Um, I don't know. Okay, reception means banquete. Ah, okay. Have a reception. Mm -hmm. Okay, have a reception. And what else? Exchange ring. Exchange rings. All right, exactly. Mm -hmm. What does it mean with that? Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, what does they mean when you say exchange ring? Okay, exchange rings mean exchange means intercambiar. Ah, okay. Exchange and rings means anillos. Okay, rings. So, I don't. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings. They say okay. Lord of the Rings, el Señor de los Anillos. Ah, that's right. Mm -hmm, the Lord of the Rings. Okay, but okay. did you know that running away in a wedding? It's a felony. Felony means delito. So it's a, it's, it's a felony. If you run away just in the day you're going to have your wedding and you run away because you, you, you didn't want to get married, <laughs> that's a felony. They can demand you for losing time or something like that. Okay. For the blue de tiempo, they say. Yeah. So, all right. So don't do it. <laughs> don't 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 do it. If you're going to get married, don't run away. Because <laughs> it's a felony. Or just don't <laughs> don't get married at all. 
It's a felony in Mexico City and everywhere or I, I don't remember. I, I think it's uh yeah in the whole country, I guess. I'm not sure if it is in the whole country or just in Veracruz. Not okay. sure. But it's a felony either here <laughs> or in the whole country. I don't remember, but yeah, it is. So okay. All right, so it says here, talk about special days or events that you are going to celebrate this year. Okay, 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 okay. So we are going to formulate questions uh, using, again, going to, but this time we are going to use something like that. What are you going to, what are you going to, and then, okay, try to formulate at least three questions using what are you going to, what are you going to do when you get married? For example, ¿qué vas a hacer cuando te cases? Okay, I'll or what are you going to do when you, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do when you finish this course? What are you going to do when you have kids? Okay, questions like that. And the other, We'll have to respond the questions, okay? All right. So try okay. to formulate three questions using this structure. If you're done, you can tell me. ready okay all right okay jorge are you done more or less <laughs> more or less how many how many do you have um new year okay how many how many questions do you have uh what are you going to expand uh, New Year Eve. Okay, okay. So, do you, do you have the three questions? Um, maybe the other question is um, I I don't finish the formulate the question because I very hard. <laughs> okay, most, okay. So, uh, okay. So, we are you are going to respond Rebecca's questions and then you are going to formulate yours. All right. Okay. Okay, so Rebecca, please go ahead. Yes. Mm, what are you going to do this weekend? Okay. Jorge. And this weekend I go to the play video games. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds great. What are you going to do to breakfast? I'm I'm not sure it's right to say what are going to uh no it's where where are going to breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yes, no. What are you what are you what are you going to have for breakfast? To have are you going uh -huh, to have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Have for breakfast is desayunar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so Jorge. I going to the some place uh, to take the breakfast. <laughs> okay, I'm going to some place. I'm going to some place. So okay. that, that's important. If you're going, if your verb is go again, you wouldn't say this one. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going to. to go. That's not Why correct. Why gonna go, no? 
I'm gonna go. You can say that one. Yeah. Okay. So when you're using gonna, when you're using gonna, you can say I'm gonna go. And delete two, no? Uh -huh. Exactly. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna but go. you cannot say this one. I'm going to go. That's not possible. Mm -hmm. So if you want to say voy a ir a un restaurante or voy a ir a algún lugar, I'm going to some place. I'm going to some place. Okay. All right. Okay. So how would you say that again, Jorge? I'm going to some place. Mm -hmm. All right. Or I'm going to go some place. Exactly. All okay. right. Okay. And Rebecca, your last question. Yes. Uh, what are you going to do when you grow up? Okay. When you what? When you... Grow up, like, um, como cuando crezcas, o bueno, ya sé que ya estamos grandes, pero cuando... <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, suppose um, take a great um, diploma, for example. <laughs> okay, but how would you say, voy a obtener un diploma? I'm going to take a um, degree. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a degree. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to get to get a uh, yeah a degree. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a degree. Okay. All right. Okay, Jorge. So, what are your questions? Uh, ah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the session. Think about your questions. Voy a cerrar la sesión tantito. La vuelvo okay, a abrir. Okay. Sale para que no se va a cortar. Entonces la cierro y la abro. No se vayan. Okay. Okay. All right. So, ajá. Okay, Jorge. Remember, if you want. What are you going to? What are you going to is the same as saying, ¿Qué vas a? What are you going to buy? ¿Qué vas a comprar? What are you going to say? ¿Qué vas a decir? Okay. okay. What are so, going to the next birthday? Okay, Rebecca. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to have a dinner with my friends and then we... We hope to go um, to a bar, I think so. All right, okay. Okay, Jorge. Okay, what going to the um, fighting September? <laughs> okay, what are you going what are you going to what? Uh, to celebrate the 15th September. Okay, what are you going to celebrate? It's my mom's birthday, so uh, <laughs> I don't okay. really celebrate uh, the um, in, it's Independence Day, no? Uh -huh. So yeah. because I, my mama hate, hates the day, so we have to lunch <laughs> and we didn't didn't um, a scream or uh, uh, how to how to say uh, dar el grito. ¿Cómo bueno, se dice? no hay una traducción. Sería dar el grito. We don't like. Sí, no, that. like scream the yes. But it's I, I'm gonna I'm gonna to do that. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, what what are you going to the next uh how did you say navidad okay christmas christmas day okay yeah. but if you say what are you going to christmas day you're missing the verb what are you going to what what is the verb to celebrate Okay, so what are you going to do, right? 
what are you going to do on Christmas Day? So how would you say that? What are you going to do on Christmas Day? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, here we go. I don't know. I think uh, I think I'm uh, going to do that always do. <laughs> so okay. it's uh, <laughs> eat uh, pavo and okay. uh, ensalada de man. Pavo, uh, turkey, no? Um, uh, salad, no. ¿Cómo se dice? No, salad, ensalada. Manzana, apple. Apple salad, yeah. Apple salad. No? Mm, it could work. Uh, ensalada de manzana, apple salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is what where yeah. This is what I'm going going to do in Christmas Day. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Thank if you. I, if huh? I want to say we we are going to, it's correct. Uh huh. We are going okay. to. Okay. okay. Exactly. We are going to eat turkey and uh, we are going to drink wine. So we are going to. Vamos a, no? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm confused because I don't know if going to is only for uh, is, is she and he, but it's all right. Ah, okay. Yeah. That, we're talking about that with Jorge. So you have, you need to have in mind that uh, you have these auxiliary verbs, am, is, or are, right? Yes. So you are going to use am whenever you're using I. I am going to. Okay. And if you're using he or she or it, you would use is. So he's going to, she's going to, it is going to. Okay. And if you're using they or you or we, in that case, you would use are. So you would say something like, they are going to, you are going to, we are going to. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you need to have that in mind because it's important, right? Okay. Yep. Perfect. So we are going to continue with the following exercise. So let me see. It's right here. Okay, so it says here, present continuous for the future. Okay, so Jorge, do you remember that we were talking like, let's say 10 classes ago, that you can also use the present continuous to talk about the future, right? Yeah, it's when I use the ENG. ENG, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says here, you can use present continuous or be going to, to talk about plans, mm -hmm. scheduled plans, which means planes ya establecidos, programados. So for example, okay. you can say something like, okay, let, let me do this. Uh, no. Ah, Estoy en bloqueo. de la mano de tareas. Modo escritorio, ocultar. Ok, se supone que tenía que ocultarse, ¿no? Ok, es que no puedo hacerlo más grande. No sé dónde está el botoncito. ¿Es este? Ah, sí. Ok. Ajá. So, you can say something like, what are you going to do? Or what are you doing for New Year's Eve? Creo que no se esconde porque no ha maximizado la ventana. Ah, sí, sí, a ver. No, sí, ahí está, ¿no? Pero no se esconde. Pero bueno, ok. So, it says here, you can use present continuous or be going to to talk about plans. So, for example, you can say something like, what are you doing? You could say that, what are you doing? Or, what are you going to do? You always have two options. What are you what are you doing? ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you doing on Christmas? For example. 
what are you doing on Christmas? Um, you use ing. In the ing. Uh -huh. and you, you're not using going to in that case. Or you can say, what are you going to do? Okay. Uh -huh. Because you can say present continuous to talk about the future. But remember, you need to have something in the sentence that tells you that you are talking about the future. Like in this case, on Christmas. ¿No? Ah, ¿qué vas a hacer en Navidad? Se entiende que estás hablando de futuro porque tienes on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Because it's to also uh, is the scheduler plans, no? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. it's more fre with more frequency used doing or going to or it's the same thing. It's the same. It's it's the same. But um, most of the time you're going to hear doing or ing i mean the present continuous when you're talking about an scheduled plan si sí, es más común de hecho ahorita que lo pienso es más cuando ya cuando ya se sabe cuándo vas a hacer algo es más común que este que veas esta fórmula por ejemplo tú puedes decir esto we are meeting friends there at 8:30 we are meeting friends. ¿Por qué meeting friends? Porque ya tienes 8.30, ya tienes la hora. Okay. Ya tienes, ya tienes el cuándo. Es muy importante que si vas a ocupar el, <coughs> que si van a ocupar esta estructura de present continuous, you need to have the when. When are you going to do that? So, you can say we are meeting friends or we are going to meet friends. And both structures are correct in that case. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. Yeah, so, yeah, that's that's the point. So, um, it says here, you can also use be going to for predictions. All right. So, when you want to predict something, you can, you only, you must only use a going to. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, you're making a prediction in that case because you don't know. Okay. So in that case, when you're making predictions, you cannot use present continuous. So you wouldn't say it's been fun. Because remember, in order for you to use present continuous, you must always have the when. So in this sentence, it's going to be fun. You don't have the when, right? You're not mentioning. No, no lo estás mencionando. Right. Mm -hmm. no. So in that case, you cannot use present continuous. So you must use I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it says here, it's going to snow tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Entonces, uh, when you're talking about predictions, you need to use going to. So when you're talking about plans, scheduled plans, scheduled plans, plan is ya establecidos, agendados, scheduled plans. In that case, you can use either going to or present continuous, right? Okay. All right. Is that clear? Do you have any questions? No, this is clear, teacher. Thank you. All right. Okay. So it says here, match each plan with a prediction, then role play with a partner, ask follow-up questions. Okay, so I think my parents says. Mm. Okay, so you have in this case a plan and then you have a prediction. Mm -hmm. All those in here are predictions. So you need to match those predictions with those sentences right here. Okay, so the first one is given for you. So I think my parents are going to get me something special for my graduation. So it says here, or they are going to give me some money. You're making a prediction in that case. Okay, so number two would be my neighbors are going to trick or treating or on Halloween. So you need to look for the prediction that fits in, the, in this place. All right, is that clear? Yes. Yeah, it's clear. okay. All right, so let's say you have, uh, so it's nine, five minutes to do this. 
Isaac, are you doing? Are you there? Hi, teacher. Yes. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> All right. So let's say, uh, let's divide the work. Okay. So uh, Isaac's here. So Jorge, you are going to guess number two and three. Okay. Uh, two and three. Rebecca, you are going to guess number four and five. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Isaac, you are going to guess number six and seven. Okay, teacher. All right. If you're done, you can tell me. I'm ready. Okay. All right. So what do you have in number four? Number four is my sister graduating uh, for law school soon. It's B. She is going to be a great lawyer. Exactly. She's going to be a great lawyer. So in that case, you're not making a prediction, right? Yeah. <laughs> so my sister's graduating from law school. That's a fact. It's going to happen. Yes, it's a and fact. It's a fact. <laughs> and you have soon. Soon is the word, is the important word because you're saying when, cuando, pronto, no? Mm -hmm. All right. So in number in letter B, it's a prediction. She's going to be a great lawyer. We don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't we know. So. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> exactly. So we're making a prediction in that case. All right. Okay. And number five. I'm going to get my dad a tie for his birthday. And uh, it's A. I think he's going to love it. I think, okay, number, uh, ah, number A, a letter A. Okay, letter I think, a. Yes. okay, I think he's going to love it. You don't know, <laughs> you don't know. You're making a prediction in that case, right? So you yes. wouldn't say he's loving it. Okay. All right, okay, thank you, perfect. I'm ready, okay. teacher. Okay, Jorge, so what do you have in number two? Number two, I think maybe the... Okay, how would you uh, read the sentence? Okay. Uh, my neighbor are going trick or drinking on Halloween. Okay. I maybe think that uh, we, we are going to the, have a great time. Okay, so we're going to have a great time. Okay. Mm -hmm. It may work. And uh, the next sentence is, is uh, my best friends getting married in May. I think maybe it's, uh, uh, it's going to be a fun wedding. Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be a fun wedding. All right. So in that case, my best friends are getting married in May. It's a fact. You're not making a, a prediction, right? It's going to happen. Okay. So that's why you can yeah. use is, is getting married in May because you have the when also, May, right? Okay, thank right. you. Okay, you're welcome, thank you. And okay, Isaac, number six, what do you have in number six? Okay, teacher, uh, number six is my best friend and I are going to, be to Paris next month. But I think it's letter Z, but... I don't know, maybe it's letter uh, F. It's going to rain, but they don't care. Okay, it's going to rain, but they don't care. Mm, okay, it, it wouldn't be number C because wedding has to do with get married, 
right? Okay. So I wouldn't you say letter C, but F, it's going to rain, but they don't care. Okay, that could work. Mm -hmm. It's going to rain. That may work. Okay, so in letter F, Isaac, are you making a prediction or it's a fact? Uh, it, it, maybe it is a plan because okay, it's F. going to rain. Okay, so do you have Dinas planeado que llueva? And now it's a prediction. It's a prediction. Mm -hmm. It's going to rain, but they don't care. Okay, well, teacher. Mayo, puede ser. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And number seven? Seven is my sister's having a baby next month. And the answer is, I think it's going to be a boy. And this is a prediction. Exactly. Uh huh. Exactly. Perfect. So it's letter A. I think it's going to be a letter E. Exactly. So it's a prediction. I think it's going to be a boy. Mm -hmm. e, by the way, when you want to emphasize the prediction, you can say, think. I think it's going to be funny. I think it's going to be a great day. I think. So whenever you use I think, you can use going to. I think. Porque están diciendo, bueno, creo que. Creo. No lo sabes, lo crees, ¿no? So I think, I think it's going to be great. I think he's going to be a great lawyer. I think he's going to love it. So when you make predictions, you can also add the word think. Okay, teacher. Right. So in that case, okay, Isaac, in this case, why are we using present continuous in letter, in number seven? Because you mentioned the time and uh, next month. Uh -huh. Exactly. So is that a prediction or is that a, something that's going to happen for sure? Uh, maybe because have a specific, uh, don't have a specific day, it maybe is a prediction. Mm, not exactly. If you have the when, it's, it's going to happen next month. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Uh, is it because uh, the um, uh, it's schedule plane, no? It's the next month. It's the next month, exactly. It's going to happen next month. So we okay. don't know the day, perhaps, but we know it's going to happen next month. Mm -hmm. okay. so, yeah, yeah, because I maybe don't have the exactly day on the time, uh -huh. uh, but it's the next month. Exactly. Huh? You know when, right? You know when it's going to happen. All right. Okay. And finally, uh, Rebecca, this is my mom's going to retire next year. Okay. Okay. My mom is going to retire this, the, pardon, the next year. Um, she is going to love not going to work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So letter G, what is letter G? It's a fact, es un hecho, or it's a prediction? It's a fact, no? But, but they retire next year is a fact. But she is going to love not going to work. It's a prediction. It's a prediction. But it's almost stop. real. <laughs> it's almost because, real. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because it, the most of the people didn't love to going to work. So. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But did you know that uh, elderly people sometimes get depressed when they when they stop going to work because yes. going to work makes them like a, a field of uh i don't know like they are doing something in life mm -hmm. so but it's they... because it's because the um, the work it's like um their lifestyle mm -hmm. not because mm -hmm. they didn't have to uh, como que no hace, no llegaron a hacer otra cosa, pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Okay, they, they, didn't, they didn't get to do anything else. Yes. They didn't get to do anything else in life. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. thank you. Right, exactly. Okay, okay, perfect. So, uh, okay. The next one is, 
Okay, so the next class we are going to continue with lesson C. And remember, if you need extra practice with these topics, you can go to Recreo and answer them. And all right, so I think that's it for today. Okay, so see you on Monday. And remember, if you have any questions for this, with this topic, remember, you ask your questions, all right? Okay. All right. Thank yes. you, teacher. Okay. okay. See, Next you. Thank you. see you. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Ay, perdón. <laughs> Bye. Es que no sé cómo será. Bye.